Okay, so this is how to do a front camber adjustment on an E46 BMW. This can be done on any of the E46s, including the M3. It's a slightly different procedure for the M3, but pretty much the same thing. So adjusting the camber is going to help you with front end grip and tire wear if you're doing autocross events or to correct camber uh, for any other reason. So this is not a huge camber adjustment, but there is a little bit of a built-in adjustment here so you can get a little bit more negative camber to lock in that front grip. So what we have to do is jack up the car there just like that, just to take the weight off of the wheel. Once you have enough weight off the wheel, you are going to do most of your adjustments at the strut tower top with those three bolts right there. Okay, so I'm going to go over to the left side of the car here. There's a little selector pin where that little hole is there. You put a glove over it and just lightly tap it with a hammer and you can knock it out. If you have an M3, I believe you have an Allen key and you have to twist it out. Once you have that out, then you are able to move that strut tire back and forth within the lines of where those bolts go. So loosen off the bolts just enough that it's the, the, the strut tower doesn't or the strut doesn't fall out, and take a screwdriver and gently pry towards the inside of the car. So as you move that strut towards the inside of the car, you get a little bit more negative camber. We're talking like a one degree, under a one degree maybe, but it still makes a little bit of a difference, so it might be worth doing. Once you've moved it with the screwdriver, then you could even hold it in place, have someone hold it in place, or then just tighten these down. Mine just kind of stuck there, it was stiff enough. Don't snug these too tightly because these are only torqued to 17 foot-pounds. So just tighten them with your socket wrench just enough that you are able to get them so that it holds the strut in that position after your adjustment. Yeah, just like that. And then once you have them pretty much held down, Grab your torque wrench, and the setting is, I believe, 17 foot-pounds. This is an inch-pound torque wrench there, so you can see. So just torque those until they are there. Well, not strictly necessary after this, it's a good idea to go get a four-wheel alignment done. A good alignment will lock in the positive handling characteristics of your car. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more DIYs like this. Until next time, thanks for watching.